Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be showing you two different ways to introduce mycelium into your liquid culture medium. My name is Deborah, the mycologist in the video is Apex Alexander, and together we are needle juice fungi. If you like this type of content, please take a second to subscribe to our channel. To get started, you'll need a flow hood or a steel air box to do your work inside of, your liquid culture medium, a liquid culture syringe or colonized agar plate, a new needle or a torch if you're going to be using a used needle, gloves and a face mask, 70% isopropyl alcohol, a scalpel if you'll be using agar, and a flame torch if you will be using agar. What's up, y'all? All right, today I'm just going to show y'all how to inoculate your LC um, using a couple methods. Um, First, we're gonna take some liquid culture that we uh, we actually purchased this from Gary, fresh from the fungi um, out in Colorado. This is a lion's mane um, genetic from him that we're gonna try out. So uh, shout out to him for that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna show you how to turn this um, liquid culture into a bunch of liquid culture. So we're gonna inoculate some LC with this LC. We're also going to um inoculate some lc using agar which i've showed you in another video um agar to lc um and we're also going to test i'm going to show you how to test your liquid culture too um we, we like to test the liquid culture before we inoculate and after we inoculate um it's kind of like a quality check so uh, definitely important to know how to do all we're going to do is take a couple drops of it and put it on some agar and um, that way we'll be able to see if it's all clean. Um, if it's clean, mycelium will grow like this. And if it's dirty, we'll be able to see that there's contamination in the liquid culture. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Like I said, just a uh, simple video on how to inoculate your LC. Check out our other videos. Um, I'll show you how to do agar to LC. I'll show you also how to make your own um, liquid culture recipe. So. Go ahead and start. Sanitize everything. So what we did when we made our liquid culture, um, what we did was we pressure cooked it for 35 minutes to make sure it's sterile. Um, it's been sitting for about a day. So you see that it's clear. I'd like to do a, a clarity check. You should be able to read right through it and this is before we've inoculated it so we know it's clean it's um, fresh out the pressure cooker about a day ago it's cooled to room temperature once it's room temperature you can inoculate it with your agar or you can inoculate it with your lc um you can also inoculate it with some spores but we'll show that in another video so we're going to go ahead and get into this um we don't have to take the, the tops off we got some syringe um, injection ports, so we would sanitize everything. Go ahead and open up our LC. Once again, this is some liquid culture from Gary, from um, Fresh from the Fungi. Gonna go ahead and check out his line, main genetic. We've been growing some other lines, main for the past year. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work another culture. All right, Let's shake it up. LC looks good. We'll put that to the side. So we're gonna inoculate both of these jars with this LC. We only need a little bit. So I'll probably use two cc's per jar. Um, and that's gonna turn these into 300 um, milliliters of liquid culture and another 300 milliliters of liquid culture. So that's a lot. You can actually get a lot of syringes out of that, um, which is what we want. Go ahead and get the needle ready. So this needle is a brand new needle, so everything's sterile already. So we don't need to flame torch anything. Go ahead and put that on there, get that ready. Go ahead, spray it down, boom. All right, all you're gonna do is take your liquid culture. We already sprayed down the injection port. You're gonna poke it right in there. I'm gonna do two cc's just like that 
I'll do this one up here. Same thing. Right in there. Two cc's, just like that. Pull it out. Go ahead and oh, cap this. Put that back on. So you see, we got about six cc's left, about five cc's left. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put that to the side. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and test this too. So I've already inoculated my liquid cultures. So we'll put these on a magnetic stir plate and uh, give these a spin to get that mycelium in there. And we'll do that a couple days. Just for the first couple days, just to get that mycelium going. And then we'll let that grow. So while I have this agar out, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this same liquid culture that I got from Gary. Um, I know it's clean because he's a reputable vendor. Um, he's definitely um, A1 with his quality, but we're gonna go ahead and test it anyways. Also, when this is um, has been brewing for seven days, we're gonna go ahead and test this again before we use this liquid culture that we made to make sure that um, they're both clean. <clears throat> so some people call this a micro drop. You don't need a needle. Um, it's easier if you don't use the needle. All you're gonna do is get your liquid culture ready and all you need is a couple drops. So we're just gonna, one, two. One, two. And that's all you need. Go ahead and spray that down. Throw away the needle. We got plenty of needles. Go ahead and put that back. Zipped up. All right, so I know that this is lines, man. I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up my agar plates. Remember, this is um this is the LC check. So I dropped a couple of drops on these two plates. Here in a couple days, we're gonna see some growth of mycelium and we shouldn't see any contamination. But if we do, then I know that this LC is bad. I'm pretty confident that it's not. I said it came from a good source. Um, so now that I got that, I'll go ahead and let that liquid sit on the plate. Shake it up a little bit, make sure it gets all on the agar. And I'm gonna go ahead and label these plates so I know what it is. So we're gonna do lion's mane. LC check. And then we'll put the date. It's Halloween, happy Halloween, y'all. Lion's mane, LC check. So I got the, um, I know what strand it is. I know that it's an LC and I know that it's, I'm, I'm checking the LC. I'll go ahead and put a G on here for Gary. So I know that it's Gary's. And that's it. So that's how you check your LC. That's how um, you're gonna be able to test your, out, um, your liquid culture to make sure it's clean. Now you wanna do that when you buy someone else's liquid culture. You also don't wanna do it when you make your own liquid culture. Um, after a few days, after your, your liquid culture looks like it's got enough growth in it, you'll wanna test it on the agar just the same um, so you know that it's clean. And you wanna do that every time you use it. You don't have to, but it's better if you do. That way you know the quality of your, um, your culture. You know that your cultures are clean. If you're gonna get into vending, it's very important that you learn how to test your, uh, your liquid culture on agar. That's why it's suggested that you learn agar work immediately. So we're gonna um, put these to the side. I'm also gonna show you how to, um, I've done, I showed you in another video, but I'm gonna do it again in this video. Um, I'm gonna show you how to inoculate some LC using an agar. I'm also gonna um, transfer um, some fresh culture on these new agar plates to keep it going. So we're gonna undo that, twist that. Remember, I'm under the flow hood, y'all. You're gonna wanna do this under the flow hood or in a SAB. Okay, you got your scalpel. I'm gonna go ahead and flame sterilize the scalpel. 
get it red hot, kill any bacteria that might be on there. This is very simple. I showed, showed y'all this in another video, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all again. And you want that to cool, let this cool down. Um, we're just gonna make liquid culture from agar. It's just another way to inoculate your liquid culture. Make sure y'all check out our liquid culture video. We'll give y'all a good recipe on how to get some strong, thick liquid culture. All right. Let's just double check, make sure this is cool. Putting it on the empty plate, boom. All right, so we got some uh, mycelium on some agar right here. All we're gonna do is take a small piece and we're gonna transfer it into this jar. Um, and that's gonna make some liquid culture just from this. So this is another way to um, inoculate your agar. You wanna make sure you do this under a flow hood or in an SAB. Make sure this um, environment is very sterile. All you need is a little square. You can make it a triangle, whatever shape you like. I like squares. Make sure your lid is off. And go ahead, you can use the bottom of the lid if you want. Boom, just drop that in there. Go ahead, twist it up on there. And that's it. We're gonna go ahead and sterilize this torch again. And all I'm gonna do is transfer a couple pieces of mycelium off of this petri dish onto some fresh agar and all that's going to do is um it's going to extend this this culture and make it fresh i'm going to just have fresher genetics on it so make sure this is cool same thing all you need is a little little bit Put it right there on the peachy dish, right there on the agar. Boom, shut it off. Get next plate ready. We don't need to sterilize this. It's already sterilized. Boom. Just like that. So now that I'm done, I'm gonna throw my blade away. Um, I got a bunch of, you can, you can keep using the same blade. I've been using this blade, so I'm gonna go ahead and trash it but it's still a good blade. I just got so many of them. I like to keep a fresh one. Um, so I'll go ahead and throw this away. Spray that down. Um, we'll put in the description um, some links to the products that we use, including like this grafting tape. These are good for Petri dishes. Um, parafilm's good, but it's a little expensive. So if you're looking to save money, and get into using a lot of agar, I suggest get into using grafting tape. But we're just gonna go ahead and wrap these plates. Seal them up. And we'll go ahead and label them. T5 stands for transfer five. Once again, it's Halloween. Okay, now that's how you transfer. We'll go ahead and wrap up this mother plate. You can save this plate for more transfers or more inoculations. You could also add it to grain. I'll show you how to do that in another video. Make sure you watch our uh, how to inoculate your grain video. Make sure y'all check out the description. There's a um, bunch of links for the products that we use. Also, the instructions are in the description. So all I'm gonna do now, I've inoculated both of these with LC, and I've inoculated this one with agar. So all I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna put these on this um, magnetic stir plate and just mix up that mycelium. I'm gonna do this for the first few days. Um, after about seven days, you should have some liquid culture that's ready to be used. I suggest before you use it, remember what I showed y'all on the agar, how to test your LC. So go ahead and test your liquid culture before you put it to grain or before you um, try to sell it or any of those things. So those are some good tips. Otherwise, that's it, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on the, um, on the stir plate and uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Check out our other videos. 
stay tuned for our next video where we'll show you how to make master's mix substrate for gourmet and medicinal mushrooms. If you're interested in purchasing any cultivation supplies, go ahead and check out our website, needlejuicefungi.com. Thanks for watching. Much love, y'all.